good YouTube welcome to part three of the munchkin making course so now you should by now have your sim already made into the sims 4 program so now we're just gonna export it into obj file using the sim ripper so I've already have it in our discord and also in the description below of where to get the sim ripper for you're just gonna need to download this you will only need the sim ripper extract the folder you will not need the source files here once you have that downloaded you're just gonna go ahead and open up the sim ripper now you may get some errors or some pop-ups just hit okay so once you come up on the screen what I like to do is I would like to go ahead and make a folder for this pad so I'm just gonna make a new folder anywhere where you want to place this folder and I'm gonna name this folder test pad because I'm testing this and this is where I will place all the files for the pad that I'm currently doing so I will go back into the sim ripper once you're into the sim ripper you're gonna hit select up here now you may not already be in your sims for save files so in order to get to the saves file you will have to go into your local C drive your users whatever the name of your user is documents my electronic arts folder is located in my documents so really is wherever your sims 4 save file is so you would need to pull that up so through electronics arts then I'm gonna go to the sims 4 and then to my saves file so remember that save file that I had you copy down from the last video you're gonna find that one save file so honestly I don't remember I'm just gonna use whatever my timestamp is from when I saved that file which was not too long ago so your files will be listed in four ways it will have a save with no number after it it will have a save zero save one sometimes it'll have a save three which I don't see but all of them are all the same but I normally just hit the first save file that I have so I'm just gonna open that save file and you will come upon all these people that are in that game that saved game you're gonna uncheck all of these to the column on the right until you find your child it's gonna be working for a moment just be, have patience and wait until it loads up so here is my save pad that I had made in the Sims 4 now what you want to do you it should already be set to these things but you want to double check that it is currently on single mesh in texture depending on what outfit you are doing I normally keep it at every day because that will be the first outfit that I make unless I am doing a whole closet for the same pad I'm just gonna choose a different one so all of these should already be set you don't have to touch anything from off of here so the next thing you will have to do is press the save as obj once you hit save as obj you're gonna find that folder that we just made which mine's was the test pad back there so it's gonna be on my desktop and hit save And that's all you need with this program. We just made our Sims 4 character into an OBJ file. That way we can place into the Autodesk 3D Max. So you will see these files here. You will see the diffuse file, the normal map, and the specular map, or the specular file, and also your OBJ file. All right, let me change. I don't like how it looks. Large icon. So it's gonna look something like this. So your next step is to switch out the normal map and a specular map with the files that I will be giving you guys. 
So the materials I will be providing is the texture zip and that's what you would need for this part of the video. The texture zip would include the base texture which is the head diff, the normal and the spec. So I will be, be providing that in the description below and also you can find it on my Discord in the material section. So you will definitely have that file located there. Okay, next you will be replacing out the normal map file and a specular file with the texture files that I have already provided for you. So you're just gonna delete these two Take these two from the texture folder, copy, and paste them in there. With the head diff, you're gonna copy the name from the texture folder and rename your PEDS texture to the same name. So you should have it like this now. So now that concludes our part three of the Sim Ripper program. And next we're gonna get into the 3D Max program so that we can convert this OBJ file over to the GTA 5 game.